H. Wong Zhou was born at Noxon village, Twinsa, to Hong Kin Cholan H. Chibi and Sima Lamla in 1920. He was the second child of his parents and was the eldest among his male siblings. Being born in the far flung area and where there were not enough basic essential services like education, healthcare, and public transportation, he went for an academic study. To Chakpa village, which is in the Mukukjing district, in the year 1945, and studied there up to class one. He got married in the year 1946. Having inherited the legacy of his father, he worked tirelessly for the betterment of his people, and most importantly, was involved in many activities in the affairs of Chang. Tribal Council. In 1952, he was appointed as Tobashi at Twin Sang headquarters. In 1955, he was assigned to establish an administrative post at Noxon and was deputed from Twin Sang along with 30 AR Chowan to Noxon. Since then, he served as head Tobashi of Noxon Outpost till his retirement in 1981. During his time of service, he was wholly committed and dedicated to his service with conviction. Post retirement or during his service, H. Wongdo committed his life for the upliftment of the poor and needy. In recognition of his service, he was awarded Governor's Commemoration Certificate. Being born in the Christian family, he was baptized on 17th July 1962 at Noxon Village. While assisting help or providing assistance, H. Wong Do didn't particularize people on the basis of color, caste, creed, or religion. He treated, loved, and supported everyone equally. He will be mostly remembered by many for his noble deeds towards an individual or family, organization and churches, where he rendered immense support till his last breath. He helped others not because he had plenty, but because he knew that God had blessed him to help others and he took delight in serving others. He breathed his last at 7.30 a.m. on 17 February 2023, leaving behind two brothers, four sons, four daughters, 23 grandchildren, and 24 great-grandchildren. He lived a good life of 103 years. He will be mostly remembered by many for his noble deeds.